Hello, everybody. This is Shane from TC Geeks, and this is the Daily App Show. Um, you can see this snazzy desktop here. Uh, it's very clear that this is the Daily App Show, and uh, boy, that's bright. It's very orange. Probably makes me look like a pumpkin. But uh, so this is exciting because today's Friday, and uh, I'm back again with a Daily App Show, um, and I have dug around and scoured around and instead of two apps today I've got three so that's pretty cool um, these are uh, some really useful apps one of them you may have seen before but the others you might not have known about and one of them actually comes because I get a lot of questions about this so let's jump into the apps because probably you've got stuff to do and I know I've got stuff to do and uh, you know, but for the next few minutes, let's uh, have some fun here. All right, so today, here we are, bring this up. Now, this is the first app. This is called Traceable, if you couldn't see on the screen. Now, what this is, I thought this was really cool actually. Why hasn't anybody thought of this yet? So basically, the idea is with this app, is you use the iPad like uh, tracing a, a table for tracing. And what it is, is, is you can trace things on it. And it's, um, it's backlit and it has, you know, um, a little area. It's kind of hard to explain. It has a little area where you actually put something down and then you trace on it. And the best way, the best way I can actually show this, and so you can kind of get the full gist of it, um is uh here to click up over on the app store where they actually have some uh really neat little uh as you can see let me scroll up there and get it in the window now you can see some screenshots here um of it on the ipad it's a pretty simple simple app for a dollar 99 but if you look what people are saying about it it does exactly what it says. It allows you to trace. Now let me scroll over here and see you can see here where you can get the different shapes and the grids, just like just like a piece of tracing paper. So really cool idea actually. And you know, for $1.99, if you like to trace, if you like to explore that, this is perfect. Um, so there you go. Somebody drew a shape that looks like an ear, a really big ear. Um, so anyway, that's traceable. It's in the utilities. And um, again, I will uh, put a link to it um, for you to explore. It's it's pretty interesting um, for those that like to be artistic. Now, okay. So, um, oh, and one other thing I want to mention about traceable. One of the reasons that it was developed uh, after reading the developer's site is because when you trace apparently, and I'm not a big tracer, by the way, but when you trace, um, people spend a lot of money on light boxes. Well, because the iPad is so bright, and believe me, it's bright. Go into a dark room sometime, by the way, and put set take your brightness setting and turn it all the way on. It will light that whole room up like it's daylight. So, so it makes a good light box. And instead of spending 50, 60 bucks on a light box, use the iPad. Okay, so traceable. Now, let's move on. Okay, this one is called Skyfire. Now, this is probably one that you've seen before or heard about. As you can see here, USA Today, Wall Street Journal, CNN, New York Times. I get emails quite often from uh, iPad users and uh, they say, you know, they're frustrated because they can't get Flash websites on their iPad, which, you know, there still are a lot of sites out there with Flash. I know we like to say that there's not, but there really are. And if you are reading a blog or reading a site that happens to have a video in Flash, it can be kind of frustrating when you can't just watch it. Well, that's what Skyfire's for. So, the app is uh, $4.99, and it's actually a browser, so it's kind of like um, 
you know, like browsing in Safari on the iPad. Well, Skyfire is an actual browser. But what happens is when you browse to a site with a flash based um, video, then what Skyfire will do is there's a little, you can click a little button in there, tap it, and it will identify the video and then start to play it. And it actually plays it in a little kind of window. You can see it just fine. Um, and really behind the scenes, what it does is, is it takes that flash and converts it into HTML5. So it's pretty interesting technology and uh, it works. Now I will say one thing, um, it does not necessarily work for flash games. So if you were thinking that this would be something that you could get to play flash games, eh, I'd be a little careful with that. It actually doesn't work well at all with flash games. So don't spend the money if you wanna get this for flash games. Um, but simply for video, flash video, flash websites works perfect. Um, used it many times. I have it on my iPad and it works great. So that is Skyfire. Okay. Now, here's an interesting app. Um, if you use your iPad um, and you want to use it actually as like an alarm and you're kind of wondering, this used to be called Nightstand Weather Clock. However, the developer did an amazing job at updating this app recently, very recently actually, and now it's called Nightstand Central. And the reason it caught my eye is because um, I just had a scenario where I was at a hotel and I had my iPad and, and quite frankly, I never trust the hotel alarm clocks. Many, many times um, they've not worked. So I wanted to use my iPad. Well, then I remembered this app and then I found out that this app was updated. So actually I thought, well, this is a cool one to show off. It is, it shows the weather as you can see here. And actually I'll scroll down, but let me actually, before I scroll down and you can see it in here, let me show you a few of the features. Um, you can actually wake up to your iTunes. So if you have music on there, you can create your own playlist and wake up to it. Preferably not a soft, softer song. You may just continue sleeping. Um, it does come with weather info. It has a flashlight in case you need to get up and see in the dark. Um, <laughs> it also, as you can see, it shows photos, which is kind of an interesting uh, part, which is actually really nice. You can have your photos right in the background. Um, and then you can also fall asleep to your music. So as opposed to waking up with music, you can fall asleep. And it does include relaxing sounds too. I think there's rain and maybe some crickets and things like that. So it's kind of cool. Um, now it is fully supported on iOS 4 for multitasking. So with the older generation of iPad iOS, when you got an alarm app and turned it off, it would never go off. Novel idea. So this doesn't do that. This actually works. Um, and you can see here in the screen, it's got some nice features. It's simple. Um, it works. It's not very complex and it is easy to set up. So you may want to check this out. I believe it's either $1.99 or 99 cents. It's, it's not over two or three bucks though. I know that. And it's definitely well worth it. So nightstand central, if you're looking for an alarm clock for that iPad, um, Skyfire for your flash, uh, needs <laughs> and traceable, uh, for your light box needs when you just want to get artistic and trace. And, uh, I'm Shane. This has been the Daily App Show. I will come back with you again next week. We will have several Daily App Shows, and I'll dig up even more apps. Um, if there's any particular that you want to see, like productivity or games or uh, any of that, let me know. You can find us on Facebook at Facebook slash TC Geeks. Just leave a comment on the wall um, or send an email, Shane at TCGeeks.com. And uh, yeah, this has been your daily app show for Friday and I'm Shane from TC Geeks.